We're recreating the morning math challenge from Mrs. Zora's sixth grade classroom. Projecting this problem up on the screen in her classroom, Mrs. Zora is able to pass her iPad to her students in their seats for them to complete the equation. So let's see how this might look. Sped up just a little bit. When we look at this problem, we know from the answer key that it's incorrect. But what's going to be most helpful for Mrs. Zora's students is to see where things went wrong. With Doceri, we can back up and look at this equation step by step. This is extremely powerful in teaching math, as Mrs. Zora has pointed out. So let's look at what happened. We'll go back all the way to the beginning, and we'll step through. We'll check this form against the formula, and yes, that's correct. We'll keep going, and we'll check this, and we'll see 20.05 times 2, but our formula is b squared. So 20.05 times 2 is not b squared, so that's where we have a problem. So we can erase that right now using our Doceri Good Point Stylus Eraser End. I've got two ends on my stylus, one for writing and one for erasing, just like a regular pencil. So I'm going to change this to 20.05 times 20.05, which is b squared. And then I'm going to keep going. This side is, this uh, part of the equation is correct. We're going to keep going here, and we've got to correct this, or we're going to keep running into that problem. So we're going to change this to 402.0025. Keep going. Now I'm speeding through this faster, of course, than Mrs. Zora would with her own class, just to show you the power of being able to uh, back up through the equation. We'll change this to 402.0025. And then our final answer, of course, needs to be changed as well. So my the eraser end on my Doceri Good Point Stylus is a, is a what you see is what you get. And I can uh, adjust my, uh, my writing tip to be such as well. Right now I've just got my eraser tip set that way. So my final answer is 1,000. My final answer is 1,051.6225. Now I can back up and show that entire equation again, including the steps that we took to correct our problems. I can slow it down, and I can speed it up. I can step through just one stroke at a time, or I can replay. So with Doceri, not only can you engage students using the iPad, but you can also show the work so the entire class can see. You can back up to show where errors occurred and correct them in real time. That is the power of Doceri, which you can find out about at doceri.com. And thanks so much to Mrs. Zora and her sixth grade class from Stevens Elementary in Aberdeen, Washington.